face. My turn to make the rounds. No looking at my cards while I'm gone, Philo. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Who else is in here? <laughs> Megan, I'm loving your new boots. You have to tell me where you got them. Thanks, Misty. They're made from 98% recycled milk cartons. There's only two pair in the entire city. And they're made from recycled something or other, which is cool because I want to save the trees and fossil fuels and stuff. Hmm. Tammy, what are you doing with my boots? Check it out, girls. Looks like my ultra chic boots have spawned a desperate trend chaser. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna rip off someone's look, I don't recommend doing it with El Cheapo imitations. <laughs> These boots are not fakes! And for the record, I bought them first! Megan Clark, please report to the principal's huh? office. Megan Clark, Great. to the principal's now office, what? please. Catch you later, Misty. Hello? Principal Shields? Did you want to see me? <laughs> oh! So much for my unique and original look! Oh! oh. <laughs> look what the wind blew in. You guys fell for Jerry's tricks again, too? Yep. Wind tunnel. I fall for all of Jerry's tricks. <clears throat> well, then, let's get down to business, shall we? I have a mission unlike any Whoop has ever encountered. A bank was robbed last night in front of security officers, but there's not a single clue as to who perpetrated the crime. But if it was robbed right in front of security, how could there not be a clue? Watch for yourselves. Show yourself now! <laughs> you are kidding! It's like a ghost stole the loot! Which makes sense, I don't think ghosts leave clues. <laughs> if you catch a ghost, can you even put handcuffs on it? <laughs> I'd like you to investigate to see if there's a more realistic explanation first, Spies. And to help you on your mission, here are the following gadgets. The press-on expanding monobrow face shield, the spring-loaded lariat, and the super sucky clue vacuum. <laughs> you call this a gadget? It doesn't look like it could suck up a dust bunny. Whoa! Make it stop! Make it stop! <sighs> you should get a muzzle for that thing, Jerry. It's a menace. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you'll be more impressed with this. The new improved Whoop Van, equipped with all-terrain wheels. Nice! Buckle up, guys! I'll drive! No. no! Nothing personal, bro, but we've all been tossed around enough for one day. One day you show up to get it and there's nothing left. I've seen your empty piggy bank. I don't think it's possible to lose what you don't have. And I didn't think it was possible for a crime scene to have zero clues. But apparently there's a first for everything. I told you guys ghosts did it. Huh? Spies, there's another very similar crime in progress in Paris. Megan, Tony, please go check it out. With pleasure. This crime scene has no leads anyway. Ooh, that's where my cool boots are made. I wonder what other fashionable clothes I might find there. <laughs> Whooping. Glad we get to stay here. <laughs> Either there's a big cheese sale going on, or we're right near the scene of the crime in progress. <laughs> someone robbed that jewelry store. Maybe the same someone who robbed the bank. <laughs> Come on, we better bail out the police before they get hurt. <laughs> Our invisible someone is leaving some ugly footprints. How can someone run up the side of a building? We've got to get up there and stop this creep. Doesn't Whoop have a robot that can get down here and search the floor for clues? My back's killing me. Ugh. 
It's not a robot, but we have this, the super sucky clue vacuum. I don't know how effective that would be at giving massages. Ah, <sighs> there's a fine line between being a spy and a maid these days. <gasps> Turn it off! Super sucky? We're just lucky this thing didn't mangle us. Looks like it's clogged. Good thing for us. Is this skin of some sort? Finally, a clue. Let's hurry and get it back to Whoop. Whoever was hurling stuff down at us must have been right about here. Look for dirty footprints. Huh? Hey, I found something even better. A diamond. My piggy bank is looking a lot fuller now. Huh? Wait, that's mine. I found it fair and square. Ah! Tony, it's the Dirty Feet Bandit! Grab him before he gets away again! <laughs> this is like trying to catch smoke! I can't feel him anywhere! Stand back, bro. Let the spring-loaded lariat do the heavy lifting. <laughs> ha! Now we gotcha, Mr. You Can't See Me! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> what is that? I can't see! This one's full of dirty tricks. Follow my voice. I'm over here. Take my hand. Hey, let go of me. Put me down. Tony, where are you? Lady! Tony? Tony? Just hold still a little longer, Megan. I'd be so glad to see you three. You're a lucky spy. We've just invented the antidote to that particular substance. I wish we could get this to Tony. He gets afraid of the dark. He doesn't even like to blink too often. Since you're dealing with such a dangerous villain, I'm giving you all portable antidotes. I just hope we're able to find Tony before... <gasps> it's Mom! Hey, Mom. Uh, uh, what's up? Lee, I want you to make sure everyone comes home tonight for dinner on time. Especially Tony. In fact, hand him the phone. I want to tell him myself. Um... Uh, Tony, are you there? Huh? Why, certainly, Mother. I'm here. Now, what's your concern? Don't get smart with me, Tony. I want you to be home for dinner on time tonight. I'm fed up with you always being late. Understand? Loud and clear. You may anticipate my punctual arrival. Tony, I said not to get smart. Okay, Mom. We'll see you later. Wonderful voice simulator. I should be a professional impersonator. I sounded just like Tony. Yeah, just like Tony, after a thousand classes and good manners. Let's check out our clues so we can track down the little guy. Here's the weird skin-like substance we found at the bank. Hey, where'd it go? Our clue is gone. It took us forever to find it the first time. Most fascinating. I believe it's still there. It's just blending into the background. I'll do a more in-depth analysis of this. I've also got a clue. Whatever we chased around the crime scene left footprints, and I got a picture. Ooh, that's someone's foot. I feel bad for them when they have to buy shoes. Not to worry. I'll enhance the picture with a little whoop magic. It looks like some sort of animal footprint. There's not even five toes. Were we chasing a big lizard of some sort? Maybe. This skin has all the properties of chameleon skin, but it's synthetic. You mean we're chasing a guy in a giant chameleon suit? Well, that would explain why we couldn't see it. It was blending into each and every background. And it might explain where that blinding fluid came from. Certain reptiles can produce such an agent. But what would a guy in a chameleon suit want with money and jewels? Even reptile impersonators have to eat, I would imagine. Too bad this doesn't get us any closer to finding our poor little bro or catching the bad guy. The best thing for now is for you to head back to school. I'll monitor things from here and let you know when there's a break in the case. Dude, it just seems wrong to be here at school when our little bro is lost out there somewhere. I totally agree, but you heard what Jerry said. He knows best. Oh, cool. There's Megan. I need to borrow a dollar from her for lunch. Hey, Megan, can I... What do you mean, Megan? Clearly your wannabe sister could never pass for me. Why don't you go get some glasses, dead muffin? Tammy, what are you doing? First you steal my boots, now you steal my hair? That rat's nest on your head looks nothing like my latest, most fabulousest, straight out of the hottest Parisian fash mags hairdo. Rat's nest, huh? Where'd you get that weave, you scalp your stuffed pony? What? <laughs> Not 
good. Whoa! Whoa! What's going on? If this is some sort of joke! Whoa! Conditioning vents. I'm going to have my father sue this school. Well, at least those rejects are gone. Nice try, Megan, but you can't avoid a mission by simply using a body double. But I wasn't trying to avoid a mission, Jerry. No time to argue. There's another crime in progress, and I want you to get to the scene immediately. Is it our villain? All indications are that it is. Take this super fly tracker just in case. This tracker is super fly. Come on, team. Hmm. Whoa! International Gold Reserve Building. This chameleon guy sure likes his bling. Oh. Oh. No alarms. This lizard guy's good at what he does. It's that blinding spray. Activate your press-on expanding monobrow face shield. Cool gadget. This could also work as a lacrosse helmet. What did you do with our little brother? Don't worry, he's safe. I've been nurturing him on a steady diet of Flies. He's on the move. Let's go. I better unleash the superfly on him before we lose him for good. Mmm. Nothing like a tasty snack on the go. The trail disappeared. Don't tell me this guy can fly too. He can run from us, but he can't run from the tracker. Nice. Be a good little lizard now and lead us to Tony. Let's follow in the van. According to my MP comm, the tracker is inside, which means so is our chameleon guy. And probably Tony. Maybe it's a good thing Tony can't see. He hates caves. The signal's getting stronger. We're really close. <sighs> Tony? Ew, stinky athlete's foot. Lee, is that you? This should help clear things up, little bro. Ugh, this is the freakiest thing I've ever seen! Are we really that ugly? How nice of you to visit my habitat. <laughs> Wait a second. You're just an ordinary guy in a fancy suit? That suit's more than just fancy. This guy's got Jerry beat in the gadget department. Yeah, that could really come in handy when I get home late and want to avoid the rents. I find my Camo 3000 suit extremely helpful in being the greatest supervillain ever. Why a chameleon suit? Why not just wear a suit with the camouflaging effect? I like chameleons. Got a problem with that? Like I used to, they blend into society, but now everyone has to take notice. Duh, you blend in even more in that hot, sweaty suit. How's anyone gonna notice? The suit's a thing of the past, thanks to my latest creation. An under-the-skin microchip that gives all the attributes of a chameleon without the suit! <gasps> I am chameleon! Hear me hiss! Oh, impressive. But dude, do you really gotta eat flies? Isn't that taking it a bit too far? I'm taking it much further. Once I eliminate you and Whoop, no one will stand in my way. I'll have all the money I need to create a race of super chameleons! <laughs> oh, I haven't sweated this hard since my last report card. Now would be a perfect time for a Whoop popsicle. Too bad they don't exist yet. But what about our boot reactors? Try to turn them on, spies. <laughs> Second stop, Cyber Smoothies. Afternoon, Frank. Don't let Jerry work it too hard. Everything looks cool here. Maybe we beat Leon to the punch. Guess again! We gotta get inside! 
Access denied. The retinal scanner isn't working. That lunatic lizard must have disabled it. <laughs> Jerry, are you there? Mark, there's been a breach at Whoop and... Ah! Man, usually we get into Whoop even when we don't want to. What now? We take a different approach. Hmm. Well, don't just stand there and let a girl do all the hard work. Come on! Chameleons are normally docile creatures. You're really giving a bad name to the species. Which isn't to say aggressiveness can't be a virtue in the animal world. <laughs> Let's take a slice out of this cold-blooded creep's crime spree. Nice dodgy, Jerry. Works for spies and villains. This guy's got gadgets now. He's a one-man army. Or a one-lizard army. Yeah? Well, we've got gadgets, too. <laughs> Wait. Uh, can I get a little help here? Warning. Outer power core perimeter has been breached. Warning. Whoops core! If he damages Whoop's power source, it'll release seismic waves equal to 1,000 earthquakes. We better split up and beat him to the core. Megan, come with me. Careful, he could already be in here and we'd never know. Ha! Sounds like trouble. You go that way, I'll go this way. Hey, let us out! <gasps> Whoa! This mission is turning into a real circus! <laughs> Don't you just hate when your own gadgets are used against you? <laughs> Hang around! This is gonna get good. <laughs> Let's see. The acid spray tropical lace should do the trick. No way! That freaky fly eater is actually going through with it! We'll all be vaporized! Me again, I'll see to that. <laughs> huh? Oh, great. What does Mom want? Hello? Tony, I am just making sure you're keeping your word and coming home on time tonight. What? I never said I'd be home for dinner on time. Uh, no offense to your cooking or anything. I told you not to get smart with me, Tony. I have had enough <laughs> of your <laughs> <laughs> The super clingy smoke curtain might help. I can't shake it off! Where is this stuff? It's called a level playing field, chump! And this is called destroying the playing field! The freesicalizer might have something to say about that. Not so tough now, are you? Guess that's why lizards live in the desert and not the North Pole. Thank goodness the core is still intact. That was as close a call as I've ever seen for Whoop. Yeah, well, now that loser Leon is on ice, maybe you should beef up security around here, Jer. Guess again. He shed his skin and gave us the slip. Jerry, you better lock down Whoop. He could be anywhere. Attention all agents! Scour the entire premises immediately! I'm not finished with you! and so many freaks were jumping on my bandwagon. The things I do to keep this school on the cutting edge of fashion. Oh. oh. What do you think you're doing stealing my look? You've taken wannabeism to a new level! Uh, clearly you're the one who stole my look. <laughs> <laughs>
<gasps> Wait! You stole my voice, too? Duh! How can you steal someone's voice? <laughs> Obviously, you're just trying to act like me. Stop it! Stop using my voice right this instant! How sad and desperate, Tammy. Just give up. Let's get this is so strange. Wait, where are you going? She's the one that stole my look. Honest, come back here. Wait. Sometimes it's good to be a spy. <laughs> to end world pollution, the award goes to Dr. Simon Cleaner. Uh, Dr. Cleaner? Dr. Cleaner, are you here? girly part. I'm right there with you. We've been at this lame mission for hours. Actually, judging by the sun's trajectory, we've only been on Operation Backyard Rake for 35 minutes. Of course, with my dear friend Acer Campestri here to keep us company, who cares how long it takes? Somebody help me! You might want to stay in the compost pit a while longer, Megan. Not only is it good for the hair, but it's also a proven stress reducer. Geeky speech. I want out of this grossing muck on the double. Relax, sis. The toaster's got your back. I'm sure you do, Tony, but your hand won't help because at present, Megan has nothing to anchor herself to. It's simple physics. Physics schmizics. I'll have her out of that hole in no time. No! <laughs> <sighs> Told you so. Don't worry, guys. Big Lee will save you. Uh, sorry, Lee. Your plan won't work either. The flimsy stick just isn't... Can it, Einstein? I'm so not in the mood for your brainitude. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Do I have to do everything? Hey, what are you up to? Filling the pit with water, which in a few seconds will unstick your feet and cause you to float to the top. Okay, you can thank me now. Thank you. If it wasn't for your boring leaf lecture, I never would have fallen asleep and tumbled into that sludge in the first place. Whoa, what is that? Ah, uh -huh. I knew it was whoop when I saw the compost bubbling because effervescence isn't a quality. Enough! Hello, spies. Thanks for dropping in. Thank you, Jerry, for saving us from our chores. And from another Mark speech. I mean, as much as I like composting, can you say lame topic? You're quite welcome. And now for the first reason I've summoned you, to give you the results of the aptitude test you recently took. Lee, Megan and Tony, you all scored very well. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Jer. Guess I'm jockey and brainy. Hmm. And speaking of grades, Mark, you scored off the charts, making you the smartest spy in Whoop history. <gasps> wow, sir, that's excellent news. Though I can't say I'm surprised. I did spend all my free time studying for the exam. Not that he's bragging or anything. Well, it paid off. As a result, you'll be transferred to a new division of Whoop called Wooksy, or World Organization of Crime Scene Investigation, which will be run by my dear sister, Sherry. Greetings, spies. It's a delight, a pleasure, a thrill to meet you. Okay, total brain puzzle. You have a sister you never told us about and our team splitting up? I realize it's a lot to digest, but I assure you it's all for the best. Indeed, with Mark in my special, unique, one-of-a-kind unit, Whoop will be able to catch more villains than ever before. 
And now for the second reason I've summoned you, to inform you that some of the world's smartest people have been reported missing. Your job is to find out what's happened to them. Then what are you waiting for? Gadgetize us! Very well. Today, you'll be using the all-occasion remote control bracelet, the retractable nuclear-powered whoop toilet plunger, and finally, the ironic bionic arm. Um, what's ironic about it? Well, it's been created to fit Lee, but it clearly looks like a woman's arm. Awesome! And creepy. Well, guys, this is goodbye. You know, till I see you later back at home. And in the meantime, if you need any help on your mission, give me a call. <laughs> So, this is the place. Any ideas how we can get in? Well, we could use a shuriken blade to pick the lock, or maybe a freeze disc to shatter the door. Please, those ideas are so markish, aka dull. Let me show you how to make a real entrance. Hiya! What should we do first? How about a little spy-tastic scan? Aha! Freaky Red Residue, 12 o'clock. Looks like we just found our first clue. With that bossy Mark's help. Cool. I'll scoop it up and send it to Jer. Hang on, Lee. Let me turn on the lights first. <laughs> Whoa! Oopsie, Hyper Tony strikes again. Hyper? That move was flakier than Tammy's sun-dried skin. So what do we do? The big guy's way out of reach. Beats me. Rescue plans are Mark's thing. Uh, uh, guys, my hands aren't getting any less sweaty here. And the pointy things aren't getting any further away. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! No way. The ironic bionic arm totally saved my butt and all my other body parts. See, we can do just fine without Mark around. Uno problemo. Our clue's gone the way of the dinosaur. Extinct. Guess we'd better call the boss man and let him know. And by we, I mean Tony. Good thinking. How could Jer get mad at a cute, chubby-cheeked 11-year-old? Hello, spies. Hi, Jer. Sorry about the whole clue mess, but it was really dusty. And when the trap door thing happened, I guess we kind of freaked. Hmm. Though I have no idea what you're talking about, I assure you there isn't time for fretting. One of the world's brightest scientists has just been abducted. We'll take care of it, Jer, and this time we won't doof it up. Excellent. I'll send the whoop van on the double. Actually, it'll be on the triple since there's three of you now. <laughs> Ta-ta! <gasps> So, lay it on me, ma'am. What super important case are you going to have me solve first? Not so fast, Mark. Before you can be activated, introduced, initiated as an official Wooksy agent, I need to run some tests. But Jerry already tested me, and I passed with flying colors. These are different tests. Top secret tests. Tests you can't tell anyone about. Don't worry. You can count on me. Hmm. <laughs> huh? No! This rules! Without Smarty Mark around, I can finally get my paws on the Van's auto mapping system. Uh, you sure you know what you're doing, T? Please! Just because I'm the youngest doesn't mean I can't work complicated computer equipment. by mistake. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? I'm hit it before my face gets stuck looking all pruney. <laughs> I take it that's a giant slalom function? Well, let's just hope our performance is gold medal worthy. <laughs> Please tell me the van comes with barf bags. Relax, Lee. Our wild ride is over. 
because we've totally reached our destination! So, what do we got? Everyday ordinary freaky lab with missing smart guy? Yeah, only this lab comes with a clue. And you'd better not launch me into the floor while I'm snagging it, little T. Hey, check it out! There's a security camera thingy mounted on the wall! And the Way Useless Statement Award goes to Megan! Useless? If we can tap into it, we might be able to figure out who our baddie is. Great idea! Except tapping into video equipment is Mark's deal. Right. Huh. Hadn't thought of that. No worries. We can send the whole thing to Jer for analysis, then head home for some grub. <laughs> hey, dude. How was your day? Because ours was great! We found all kinds of clues and analyzed loads of stuff without you! Uh, Earth to alien sibling, brothers and sister trying to communicate with you. <laughs> Yo, what's up with the egghead? It's like his brain's on pause. Okay, kids, time to go wash up for dinner. You got it, Mom. And yes, I'll clean under my fingernails. You coming, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's official. Genius Boy's acting way wacky and a little rude. Maybe he had a bad day at work. Or maybe he thinks he's too good to talk to us. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the additional whooping, team, but I have some disturbing news for you. The results of the residue you sent indicate that a whoop gadget was used in the abductions. But how is that possible? Did someone break into the building and steal some gear? No. All Whoop gadgets are present and accounted for. Then maybe someone stole the technology and created a gadget of their own. It is an interesting theory, Lee, and entirely possible. So did you get a chance to check out the video cam we sent you? I'm afraid it was damaged when you removed it from the wall, so the analysis will take a while longer. <coughs> In the meantime, there's a famous professor coming to lecture at a local university. If you can keep an eye on her, you may be able to catch the villain in the act. We're all over it! Now, take this map and get to it. So, which way to the boring lecture? Maybe we should call Mark and ask him. After all, he is the king of speeches. Or we could avoid Mr. Big Brain altogether and use the handy-dandy map Jer gave us instead. Yeah, if we spoke Chinese, what language is this thing in? Must be a secret whoop code. And without Mark here to break it, looks like we're gonna stay lost. Ah! We're under attack! Uh, wait a sec! We weren't attacked, we were whooped! More like whoop seed. Jerry? Sorry to disrupt your mission, but I have some good, fabulous, exciting news. I revisited the results of the test you took for Jerry, and I'd like you to join the Wuxi program after all. Really? You mean it? So our team's back together? No, not really. The reason I brought you here is to eliminate you! <laughs> <laughs> good one, Sherry! Yeah. Obviously, you have the same sense of humor Jer does, and that funky accent is killer! I'm afraid the joke's on you, spies, because you're way too close to figuring out what I'm up to! Actually, without Mark, we've been having trouble figuring out much of anything. Oh, by the way, what's wrong with him? Last time we saw the dude, he was watching TV like a zombie. You can ask him when you see him, though I don't know how much help, assistance, you he'll be, especially after his next treatment! <laughs> Mark! I know I'm gonna be sorry I asked this, but what do you mean by treatment? Yeah, quit babbling so much and tell us what kind of yucky evilness you're up to. Just a depraved plot to steal the world's most intelligent people's brain power so I can outsmart, outwit, outmaneuver Jerry and take over Whoop! Sorry, lady, but even if we're not as smart as you, we're just not gonna let that happen. Yeah. <laughs> This whoop stick 
sticky string and I beg, plead, pray to differ. Hey, no fair, you stole that from Jerry. I prefer to use the word borrow, just like the gadget I borrow to abduct you and the others. Now, if you'll excuse, pardon, release me. I need to steal the rest of Mark's and everyone else's brain power. <sighs> Guess Mark isn't the only one with a big head anymore. Farewell, children. Now that I've taken down your brother, it's time to go take down mine. <sighs> now I know where the saying sticky situation comes from. Too bad we don't have our backyard garden hose. Then maybe we could melt the sticky string and escape. Lee, that's the most brilliant idea you've ever had. It is? Yeah. All we gotta do is turn on the sprinklers and we're free! The allocation remote is just the ticket we need! Awesome! It worked! And my whole ankle is tween nightmare is over! So, what do we do about Mark and the other brain drain peeps? I don't know about you guys, but for me, things haven't been the same without Mark around. You're right! And whether he can help us or not, we so need to bring him along! Cause he's totally part of our team! Okay, but we'll have to come back for everyone else. And we better do it fast. Huh? <gasps> oh, my! <gasps> oh, my! Again! Sherry, what in the world is going on? I finally got smart, Jerry. Literally and figuratively. After our brother Terry failed to take you down, I know it was up to me! <laughs> but but why would you want to do such a thing? We've always gotten along so well. Please! Ever since we were kids, you've been a goody two-shoes, squeaky clean, a real stick in the mud. And you need to be put in your place. Mm. Hi, Jerry. Want a cookie? But we aren't allowed to eat cookies. Not without Mummy's permission. It's just a cookie, Jerry. Don't be such a stick in the mud. I guess it couldn't hurt. What's going on in here? Are you children sneaking cookies again? It's not me, Mummy. It's Sherry. Sherry's the cookie thief. <sighs> Fine. If that's how you feel, then you can try to take me out. But I assure you, it won't be that easy. Ow! Bring it on! Big brother! With all my new brain power, I now know seven different types of martial arts. Yeah! I... Oh, that feels more like ten different kinds of martial arts. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh. Well, if you like those moves, tactics, actions, you're gonna love this one. Oh. 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 <laughs> and now for my final manoeuvre! Oh. Rolling you out of this trap door and out of my life forever! <laughs> Step away huh? from the sticky ball, Sherry! Yeah, you're not rolling our Jerry anywhere! Mark, are you okay? Sorry, spies, but I don't take orders from intellectual inferiors. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hey! hey. Double arm, dual appendage, two limbed windmill. Oh. Super sized monster, mega head Okay, time for plan B. The way Tone sees it, there's only one person who can help us. Mark, we need you. What can we do to stop Jerry's evil sister? You want me to use the retractable nuclear-powered whoop toilet plunger to pump Cherry into oblivion? Actually, I think he wants us to use it on her head. You know, to steal back the brains she stole from him. Now that's a plan B. You think it's safe, Jer? Huh? Honestly, I'm not so concerned with Sherry's safety at the moment. Good, because the only thing you should be concerned about, brother dear, hasta la vista. No! Oh! 
Yeah, hasta la vista to you and your loser schemes. Ah! <laughs> oh, dear, you defy me. Oh, I'm just getting started. Okay, my turn. It's times like this, I love being a spy. One spylicious polarity reversal coming right up. Mm. Ah. What? Hello, everyone. Did you miss me? Yeah! <laughs> Looks like our big headed brother is back. <laughs> I gotta say, bro, it's good to have you and your head back to normal. And even though I was way sick of you acting like a smarty bobardy, I realize it's just how you are. And even if you are kind of annoying, we need you on our team. Thanks, guys. It's good to be back. And I'm sorry if I acted like a know-it-all, because I need you guys, too. You know, except for when Megan spends hours in the bathroom, Tony messes up my room, and Lee gives me atomic wedgies. So I wonder what happened to all the other brainy people. After he got out of the giant sticky ball, Jerry returned them to their regular selves. Then he sent Sherry to Whoop Prison to hang out with his brother, Terry. And he closed Wooksie for good, which is just fine with me because it's the dumbest name I ever heard. Hi, kids. So, who wants to carve? Uh, technically, Mom, you don't carve a ham, you slice it. Unless it's the pre-sliced variety, then you simply serve it. Unless you oh, no, it's starting again? Enough! <laughs> 